For different scenarios, the Commander Fleet Activity Sasebo Harbor Patrol Unit and Japanese Coast Guard must work together and be in constant communication. The two held a training exercise that focused their communications in a high-value escort drill in the Sasebo Harbor. When we have high-value assets coming in, uh, we are uh, taking up uh, certain security postures, so we need to have translators and we need to have the Japanese Coast Guard acting as the main line of defense, the first line of defense for us. With the Japanese Coast Guard having to be the first line of defense for the high value asset, this type of training is essential. Working together, the team can understand what their individual roles are. We don't normally get to do any training with them, we just come out and do the escorts with them new implements that we can use and getting to hear their point of view on things that they would like us to do to help with the communication. Sailors use simulated weapons for the drill to practice what would happen during a real attack. It's not really that different. We pretty much just got to treat it like it's a real weapon. Like I couldn't get a clear shot today because there's another vessel in the way. Even though it's training, you still have to try to hold off. The team spent sufficient amount of time on the water practicing the escort drill making sure sailors and the Coast Guard handled the situation properly. We advise we can't get a clear shot. I think the Japanese Coast Guard did pretty good. Um, again, a few more drills throughout the, uh, the next few months would help establish um, everyone and hopefully to get the communications a lot better and uh, for us all to be on the same page. Shortly after the drill, the Coast Guard and CFAS Harbor Patrol met on the pier to discuss the drill to reassure that the bonds between the two departments remain strong. Seaman Travis Mendoza, Sasebo, Japan.